Hi, my name is Maggie Wells. I'm the internship coordinator at the Career and Professional Success Office here at UNH Manchester. And I made this video today to talk about job and internship search best practices. If you've never heard of the CAPS office, here's just a brief overview of what we do and how we do it. So CAPS is here as your one-stop shop career. Uh, we are here to help you build the skills you need to uh, manage your own careers while you're both here at UNH and as you graduate and become alumni and to take those skills with you throughout the rest of your careers. Uh, we do that in a number of different ways. The first is about building awareness. So it's awareness of self, what skills you have, what skills you need to gain, uh, what career values and what interests you might have, and then awareness of industries of interest, because you want to make sure you're making a good match between the skills and the values you have with the skills and values necessary to work in your industry of choice. The other things that we do is around building professional image. It's all the things you think about when you think of a career center from resume reviews to cover letters to LinkedIn profiles to mock interviews. It's preparing you to be the best applicant for when you put yourself out there in applying for jobs and internships. And that's about building experience because employers really want to see experience beyond just your education and knowledge increase by gaining your degree. So whether it's experience inside the classroom with projects or outside the classroom with faculty research, student org involvement, volunteer, part-time jobs, or internships. Um, and so there's lots of different ways for you to build experience. In order to get experience, you have to build relationships. So building relationships is about connecting students with employers. Uh, when we're on campus and in person, we do that through information sessions and career fairs and on-campus interviews. Uh, the difference now, right now, while we're more in the virtual space is that all of those things are still happening, but they're happening out in virtual space. So it's still about connecting yourself, getting in front of employers, building relationships with companies in order to put your best foot forward and starting to expand your network. So why are we doing this video today? Well, I think we all understand that the landscape around the job market might have changed a little bit given what's happening with the pandemic. We're in uncharted territory, so we can't fully say what's gonna happen and what's not gonna happen, but I think it's important to plan for worst case scenarios. And so right now I wanted to give you just a brief little update of things that we're seeing over here at the UNH CAPS office. So the National Association of Colleges and Employers did a quick employer poll to see what employ how employers are responding to the pandemic. About 50% of those employers have moved to virtual remote-based work, meaning they're taking their labor force and they're putting it online, much like UNH did by removing all of in-person classes and putting them onto online classes. Over 25% will no longer recruit this spring on campuses. So employers aren't coming to campus anymore, but that doesn't mean they've stopped recruitment. It just means that recruitment looks a little different. 71% of employers plan to continue with their internships as they originally uh, planned to. And that is of March 27th. I do want to add a little note that when this poll first came out in the beginning of March, about 91% of those employers said that they were going to continue with their internships, and that number has decreased to 71%. So we might see less internships available this summer while we're sort of in unshaky, uncharted territory. 23% are in a wait and see mode, right? They want to see how things shake out over the next few weeks before they decide how they're going to move forward with internships and recruitment. And the unemployment rate is rising across the nation. Um, about a few weeks ago, we were at a 2.4 to a 2.6% unemployment rate in New Hampshire, and that is changing pretty rapidly. So we have to be aware of what our landscape looks like. Now, what this doesn't mean is that you should be not applying. You should definitely be applying. You should be applying even more. And so I wanted to give a brief overview of what we can do to make sure that we are as career prepared in our job and internship searches as possible. It's about being proactive and not reactive, right? So if we're waiting for employers to come find us, we're going to be waiting for a really long time. So it's about actively seeking out opportunities 
rather than waiting for opportunities to present themselves to you, okay? So it just means that you're gonna have to put yourself out there a little bit more than you might have a few weeks ago, okay? There's lots of technology that can still help you in this search. And so beyond just making an appointment with a CAC staff member, which you absolutely can do through your Handshake account, uh, around your job and internship search or your resumes or your cover letters or mock interviews. You also have access to technology 24 hours a day, seven days a week that's available to you to sort of help you in your job search. So whether it's Handshake where we post jobs that uh, employers have come to recruit with UNH for, whether it's BMOC to get your resume, you know, in tip top shape or Wildcat Connections, which is an exclusive online platform for you to connect with UNH alumni and learn from them um, around how they started their careers when they were recent undergrads graduating out into the job market, and then interview stream. So you've applied to a position, you've been accepted for an interview, now's the time to prep to make sure that when you go on that interview, you're putting your best foot forward. So to kind of get into the job and internship search, you gotta know what you're looking for before you begin looking for it. So if you haven't started sort of breaking down what kind of work you wanna do or what unique skills and qualifications you possess that make you a great candidate, or what would be the job titles of positions that you would be interested in looking for, it's gonna be like searching for a needle in a haystack, okay? There are a lot of opportunities out there from both entry level to all the way up through five, seven, 10 years worth of experience. And so you have to kind of narrow down your search through certain keywords or search terms. And you do that by creating yourself a professional objective. It's a clear message about what kind of work you're looking to pursue in your search so you don't get overwhelmed. You also don't wanna make that message so narrow that not a whole lot of things um, pop up when you do use those search terms, okay? So how do you create your employer list? Well, first, you gotta know who are the employers that are hiring people with your background and skills. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about some resources you can use to figure out who those employers are. Be sure that you don't have too few or too many employers on your list. You don't wanna drink from the fire hose, but you also don't wanna drink from a trickle, okay? So make sure you've got a good amount of employers that you're gonna be researching and looking into. Consider both large as well as uh, well-known companies and smaller, less known companies. New Hampshire has a lot of small businesses um, that do a lot of the hiring here. So don't just go after the big name companies. Make sure you're exploring some of those smaller companies as well that could potentially be hiring or willing to take on an intern. So like I said, I wanted to give you some resources around uh, things that you can use in trying to figure out which employers might be hiring for your major. So Buzzfile is a great resource for you to use. What Buzzfile does, it allows you to first search by your major, right? So if you look at number one, uh, number one's image, you'll see that a whole bunch of majors are listed. Once you click on those majors, it'll bring you to all of the different uh, employers or sites, sorry, states that uh, are in the US. And so click the major that you want to explore, then click the state. So if you notice right down here, you can see New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Maine, if you're planning on staying regionally. If you're planning on going further than New Hampshire, all of the states are listed. Then you can click on the state. So I clicked on New Hampshire for computer science. And what it does is Buzzfile has already compiled all the employers in the state of New Hampshire that are hiring computer science majors. So if you're having a hard time figuring out how to create your list of employers for you to explore, make sure you're using Buzzfile because it's done a lot of the work for you. Other resources that you can use are um, Chamber of Commerce. So every city has a Chamber of Commerce. Here in Manchester, it's the Greater Manchester Chamber of Commerce. And they've also done something very similar to Buzzfile, where they've broken down all the companies in the Greater Manchester area by industry. So again, if you wanna learn more about your local areas and what companies might be hiring for your major as you create your list, uh, it's great to use Buzzfile. I also wanted to take the moment right now to bring up that major doesn't always equal career. And what I mean by that is that 
sometimes if you just focus in on your major and you forget to look at what your core competency skills are, um, you might be missing jobs that would be a perfect fit for you. It's very rare when someone graduates from their undergrad that they land their dream job right off the bat. Most of us end up in what I like to call our bridge job. A bridge job is a job that's gonna help you gain the skills you need that are gonna launch you to your dream job. So just make sure that you're not narrowing it down so specifically to your major and you've kind of taken stock of what other skills, competencies, and experiences that you might have. I think this is also important to note given what's happening around COVID-19 because as the job market starts to get a little bit smaller, we might have to be a little less choosy about what our job was or what we intended our job to be when we graduated. It doesn't mean that we give up on our dreams, but we might have to expand out to other industries or other job types that we originally didn't think that we would need to. So just be open-minded about all the things that can fit your skill set and that can bridge you to that dream job. Places that you can look for jobs, obviously we talked a little bit about Handshake, but indeed, Idealist, NewHampshireInternships.com if you're looking for internships. LinkedIn jobs, uh, UNH runs a internship program through the summer called the UNH Social Innovation Internship. You can just Google that right on UNH's website and learn about all the different summer opportunities they have. But if you're only looking at jobs boards, you might be missing opportunities, especially when it comes to internships because not every employer goes and posts on a job board when they're recruiting. A lot of times employers host their own career sites on their company websites, which goes back to how important it is to make sure that you're researching companies of interest because then you can go onto their jobs boards on their website and see what opportunities they have. Maybe they don't have an actual recruitment job description for their internship, but they have a page on their website that describes their internship program and how you might be able to tap into it. So don't just limit yourself to online jobs boards. Make sure that you're going to company specific websites to search for opportunities as well. And that's important to know as well. Oh, before I get to that part, I just wanted to give you a little screenshot about what it looks like to do a job search on Handshake. Every UNH student has a Handshake account. So make sure that you log on every once in a while, I would say two or three times a week, so you don't miss out on great opportunities that have recently been posted. Early worm gets the bird. And make sure that you uh, use your filters to sort of help you uh, navigate what jobs you might be looking for. Handshake has a lot of job postings on them, not as much as Indeed and Idealist and LinkedIn jobs, but it has quite a few and there's jobs that are all over the nation. So if you're looking to stay close to home or regional, you wanna make sure you're using those filters so that you don't get discouraged that a lot of the jobs you're seeing that are really exciting might not be local to you, okay? So you have lots of filters that you can use to pick the job that's right for you or the internship. Uh, so, backing up a little bit about how people get hired. So one of the other reasons why you don't wanna just limit yourself to online jobs boards is that only about 25 to 30% of the jobs that are out there in the world are out there on an online jobs board. So if you're only looking on LinkedIn, Indeed, Idealist, ZipRecruiter, Recru Zip Monster, even Handshake, you're missing about 70% of the opportunities that are out there. And 70% of those opportunities are done through networking. Employers want a sure fit and a sure bet, right? And the best way for them to do that is to use their own networks in searching for their candidates. So you want to make sure you're getting yourself out in front of employers and making sure that you're networking so that you're reaching those 70% of jobs that are never going to be posted on an online jobs board doesn't mean you can't use online jobs boards, but you wanna do a mixture of both. Checking the jobs boards and making sure that you're networking, getting in front of employers, conducting informational interviews to learn more about companies, whatever it happens to be for you to get connected so that you can use that network to help yourself advance in the job and internship search. Remembering that it's not always what you know, but also who you know that creates the best opportunity. So what does that mean when you're searching? Searching resources are abundant. 
from professional associations related to your industry, every industry has a professional association. And so a lot of times there's discounts for students or there are free parts to the professional association that you can still tap into. So make sure you're aware of what industry, of what your industry professional associations are. Chamber of Commerce, which we mentioned before, which is a great way to search for different opportunities and jobs and companies that are out there. LinkedIn, if you don't have a LinkedIn profile, it's time to get one. There are so many resources beyond just having your profile out there for employers to find and search, but it's also about using LinkedIn jobs and networking. So back in the old day when we all used to give our business cards and we still give business cards, right? It LinkedIn is a way of you to have an electronic Rolodex of business cards. It's for you to be able to connect to people and then stay in connect, stay, oh, sorry, stay connected to those individuals. And then general jobs boards. Again, still searching in that traditional sense, but please make sure you're getting yourself out there and building those relationships with employers. It's more important now than ever. And then with networking, lots of different networking opportunities from virtual recruitment events that are still happening in Handshake to informational interviewing. So make sure that you are connecting with people who might work in companies that are of interest to you. It's not about calling someone up and saying, hey, can you get me a job or an internship? Because that's not gonna be the best method. It's about, hey, calling someone up that you know who works in a company and saying, can you talk a little bit more about how you ended up in the position you ended up in? right? What are the skills and qualities that a company like yours would look for an employer um, in, a, in a potential employee? So make, it's about making sure that you have the information so that you can then utilize that for when you're applying and building a relationship. Um, it's about using LinkedIn and the C alumni function. If you haven't seen this aspect of LinkedIn, LinkedIn has a database of about 96,000 UNH alumni that you can search through and connect with through LinkedIn by sending a message and conducting an informational interview. See an alumni who's working at a job that is your dream? Go ahead and ask them how they ended up in that career. What did their career trajectory look like so that you know how um, the path that you might be able to take to make those connections? And then Wildcat Connections, which is exclusive to UNH alumni. The alumni who are sitting in Wildcat Connections are there waiting for students to reach out to them. They want to be a resource to you. And during this time, it's more important than ever that we reach out to our alumni network so that we can learn more about industries, jobs, and opportunities. And then using your natural network. So whether it's a former supervisor or a professor or cousin, making sure that you are letting people know, everyone know that you are on the job search or internship search and knowing what it is that you want so that if you talk to your professor about a potential internship that you're looking for and they know an alumni who did an internship very similar to that and they can make that introduction for you. So networking is about putting yourself out there as much as possible so that you can expand not just to your professor or your former supervisor but to their connections as well in hopes of them making a, um, an introduction for you. Application materials are just as important and this is a great time for you to brush up on them. So if you haven't touched your resume in a while please make sure you make a resume appointment to get that checked out or utilize VMOC to get your resume in working order. If you've never written a cover letter before, there is a, a recipe to writing cover letters, and we're happy to sort of go over that with you. So cover letter writing is very specific to the job that you're applying for or the internship that you're applying for. Uh, and same thing with your resume, it should be tailored to every job and every internship that you apply for. So if you find something that you really, really wanna go after and you wanna learn how to tailor your cover letter and your resume to that specific job description, CAPS is here to help. If you don't have a LinkedIn profile, create one. If you have a LinkedIn profile and you haven't updated it in a while, let's update it. If you're not active on LinkedIn by posting or connecting with individuals, now's the time more than anything to make sure that you're putting yourself out there. Uh, professional websites, 
if you are someone who's going into marketing or graphic design or computer programming, if you have a professional website that you can link to your LinkedIn, that's great. Online portfolios, and then asking for references. So you wanna make sure that you've already done the work of asking maybe a faculty member or a current or former supervisor if they would be a reference for you as you start applying for jobs and internships. Because most of the time those jobs and internships do ask for at least three professional references. So you wanna make sure you're cultivating those relationships now so that you have them set and ready to go for when you are applying to positions. Key takeaways from our short little Quick video about job and internship search. Start your search early. Apply, apply, apply. Um, for every 25 applications that go in, people typically get one call back. So you wanna make sure that you don't just apply to a few places, but that you're applying to many places. Uh, tailor your resumes and your application materials to all positions. Use all channels. So from networking to jobs boards, don't just use one or the other. Customize application materials, we talked about that. Put yourself out there. Tell everyone that you're looking for an internship, everyone that you're looking for a job, okay? Um, the more you put yourself out there around someone who's looking for a job and an internship, the more likely you're gonna encounter someone who may be able to connect you to someone who has an opportunity. Professional follow-up is key. Don't just apply and walk away. If you apply for a position and you don't hear from that employer for a couple of weeks, go ahead and follow up with a professional email, right? Hi, I applied to your position a couple of weeks ago, just wanted to check in on the status of my application and see if there's anything additional I can provide you uh, for information. The only time you don't want to follow up with an application is if the application itself specifically says, we'll contact you, don't contact us. Or if you apply to a position at the beginning, but the application doesn't close for a few weeks, oftentimes employers won't start vetting candidates until their application has closed and all candidates have applied. So if the, you apply for a position, it stays open for two weeks, you wait a couple of weeks after that, you haven't heard from them, go ahead and follow up with an email to make sure that they've gotten your application and to see if there's any additional information you can provide them. Interview prep. So if you get that resume and cover letter in and you end up getting an interview, let's go in prepared, right? So schedule a mock interview, use interview stream. Now's the time more than anything to make sure you have your top five skills that make you the best fit for this company and examples to go along with those skills so that when you're asked interview questions, you're able to present the best parts of you as a candidate so that an employer can really see what a great fit you are for their company and their job. And don't get discouraged. While the landscape has changed, the plan has not, okay? It's not impossible to find a job and an internship right now. You might have to work a little harder at it, and it might be uh, uncertain times, but don't let yourself get discouraged. If you don't hear back from a few employers, that's okay, just keep applying. No one gets a job the first time straight out of the gate, the very first application that they've ever sent in, okay? And if you are starting to get discouraged, or you think that maybe you could be doing more, ask for help. CAPS is here to help you, whether it's through our 24 hours, seven days a week career technology, or it's by making an appointment. Make as many as appointments as you want until you feel comfortable, comfortable and confident in your skills to be able to get that job. So here's your to-do list walking away from this little video today. Make a list of potential employers you want to work for or potential jobs or job titles that sound interesting or that you would want to perform. Look for openings online for those positions. Connect with your networks to learn more about the company's jobs and ideal candidates. Alumni are key in learning more about industries, companies, jobs. They're already in those positions, so reach out and ask questions. Attend virtual recruitment events. They are still happening, so you can log onto your computer like you are right now and learn more about an employer. Get your resume and LinkedIn profile in good working order and know how to write a standout cover letter. If you haven't done that before, now is the time to make an appointment and learn. And then last, but certainly not least, is just keep applying. Apply, apply, apply. 
and remember your CAPS team is help you, to here to help you. If you have questions about the job and internship search or anything else, contact CAPS, either Jamie or myself. Email us at unhm.careerunh.edu or just put uh, appointments right on our calendar by logging into your Handshake account and navigating to the appointment section. I hope you found this video of interest and helpful and we are looking forward to working with you. Good luck, Wildcats.